This game is pretty epic. I've played God of War 1 and 2, but never 3. And when I did play them for the first time and I got to 3, I heard it was being remastered to PS4, so I decided to wait it out until now. And holy fuck, I'm glad I did, because this is an incredible remaster. In terms of gameplay, God of War 3 is easily the best experience of the original trilogy. It does everything the second game did in the sense of taking everything the previous game did and just refining it and adding more. There are more weapons, more ways to attack, especially when climbing, more puzzles which aren't too hard but still nice to see, more special and awesome magic powers, more ways to ride specific enemies to cause utter mayhem, and of course, the gruesome and awful ways to dismantle your foes with fluidly fantastic control. And gruesome is the correct word here. Gruesome yet beautiful. Not only do you get the best God of War gameplay experience, but you get it in dazzling 1080p at a constant 60fps non-stop, with practically no loading times even when dying or saving the game. All with the unparalleled detail, smooth as fuck combat animations, and horrifically violent and brutal gore, making it the best looking and overall playing God of War you could ever wish to own. Especially with the gratifyingly rich and darkly grand booming orchestral soundtrack. And of course, you still get to be a badass asshole with our best friend Kratos and kill literally everybody. Body. I'm kind of disappointed over the fact they still haven't removed the instant death quick time events, which is most annoying when you restart immediately before the event until you get it right and it just acts as a strike against your death count, that's fucking shit. But I do love the quick time events involving gouging eyes out and tearing off limbs, that will never get old. And the fact there are more opportunities for platforming and imaginatively concealed and rewarding secrets is another neat inclusion. One thing I have noticed though over the course of God of War is that even though the gameplay always got better with each instalment, the plots always seem to get worse. The first game's plot I really loved, the seconds was alright if a little far fetched in places, and threes is just hilariously lazy. The plot here is that you have to kill the Olympian gods. The end. It adds absolutely nothing to the lore, expands and carries on from a complete empty void of ideas, and when you take a proper step back and realise you're simply playing a game with bulky burly men and women shouting at each other until one of them dies, even though it is deliriously entertaining, it's still pretty bad. But hey, at least I really love the ending. The ending was pretty great, extremely climactic and incredibly badass. But yes, entertaining is what it definitely is, because God of War has always been seen as one of the big blockbuster tycoons of the PS2 and PS3, and with the visible amount of passion, soul and love gone into the world detail and character design, incredible combat that hasn't even slightly dated, monumental soundtrack, giant and gorgeously presented set pieces, and even the bosses. Even though some are fantastic, like Hades and motherfucking Zeus, and others are completely lame like Hermes, I can totally see what the team were going for with God of War 3, and I can safely say it deserves to be one of THE blockbuster PS4 titles, even if it is a remaster. So if you haven't played a God of War game until now and want to see what the idea is, then seriously go for this, even though the plot is very entertaining, but completely laughable. From a technical and gameplay standpoint alone, God of War 3 is the best performing and tightest playing and best looking spectacle of the original God of War trilogy, and it's worth every penny alone for the updated visuals and 60 FPS gameplay. All I recommend you do though, if you haven't played God of War before, is look up a little bit of backstory before going into this, just so that the random character appearances make a little bit of sense.